Hello everybody, this is Lita from Lita Scrapbooking Life. Today I'd like to show you a new little mini album. I call this my library card mini scrapbook album. And the reason I call it that is because it is made out of these. These are the inserts from the old defunct card catalog system that we used to have in our libraries and my school was getting rid of these. They were throwing them in the trash. You know, they used to go in the card catalog box and you would thumb through these to find the subject or the author or the title. Well, they were tossing them out. Of course, I couldn't let them go to waste. They're just perfect for many scrapbooks. So, I salvaged them from the trash and I have created this little mini scrapbook. Now this is one of eight scrapbooks that I made for Christmas gifts. One went to my friend, my librarian friend, Miss Cashin. She got one for Christmas, as did my co-workers and my sweet sis, Steen. Hey Steen, hope you're watching. So let's get started. The front of this is uh, just a matte board. I've used a little tear paper, some ribbon, um, this is a little um, embellishment and flower from Spare Parts. This is a stamp that I embossed. This is from one of my favorite stamp pads called Simple Thoughts. And uh, it, this is made by Cloud9 Designs. And they just have such a great assortment here. Um, I always seem to find a sentiment that is, is appropriate for my project. Um, I gave these as gifts, and so I, I didn't put a lot on them. I wanted to leave room for the recipient to put what they would like inside, but I used a beautiful paper pack, which I will show you shortly. It's by DCWV, and it's called the Lace and Linen Stack, and I'll show you that pack. Um, you can see that the edges are all inked. That is Tim Holtz Distress Ink in tea dye. As I went through the album, I really wanted to do just card pockets and things they could tuck in. I thought this would be a cute little mini album to throw in a purse or a bag. I also included throughout the album these little cards. They're two inches by three inches and I just cut these out of index cards and then I stamped this really cute little vintage camera and this came from another stamp collection called a Travel Journey. And it's just the cutest little vintage camera, and you can see it's got a vintage suitcase, first class travel stamp, a globe, a postcard, um, little key, canceled stamps. It's just adorable, and this is created by TPC Studio, is the manufacturer of this wonderful little stamp collection. So I do this because, you know, when you give them as a gift, they don't always know your thinking, and so to me, I thought, well, this way you can kind of try it out. I envision, you know, maybe a photo here with a journaling, little journaling card, maybe an embellishment or a title here. Um, you can see now with this out, the little, the beautiful paper has an embossed little sparkly edge. And speaking of edges, this is the trim off of one of the pages in the pack. And I like to take my glossy accents and put it along this edge anytime I cut an edge for a pocket. And that really gives that edge some integrity so that as you're pulling things in and out, it's not going to get all dog-eared and looking bad. It will really hold up for quite some time. So I put that along the edges of all of my little pockets. It's pretty, it's glossy, and it really helps the pocket hold its shape for a long time. Um, here we go. Now you're going to notice some of these tabs are side cuts. They've got the little tab on the end. And I had used all those up. So there were some more of these little cards that had the little tab on the end. I just happened to use them all. Um, this is more paper out of that pack. And this is a border strip actually on the paper in the 12 by 12 stack. And I just cut it. And you can see that these look like little buttons. Well, I just took my glossy accents, went over anything that looked like a little button. I used glossy accents on it and really made them pop out. Another place for a little photo. 
this is a really pretty kind of green, mossy green color. And all the colors in this pack are green, browns, and pinks. So as I created the pages, of course I had, you know, eight albums, so I had eight of every page, and so different ones had different color themes. Some were more pink, some were more green, and I just gave them to the recipient based on who I thought it looked like when I got finished with it. This one, I thought this was such a pretty little border, so I turned it into a pocket. And I used my glossy accents to really highlight these little scallops and the little bumps. The glitter that you see is actually on the page itself. It was in the page pack already. This has got a little flourish that's on there. It's just such pretty paper. It makes such a cute little album. little place for a photo. I just had such a good time with these. I wish I had all of them to show you because all of them together made such a cute collection of albums, but I didn't have time to make my video before I had to give them away for my Christmas gifts. I was right up to the wire. Um, this is a great little page that I included in all the albums. It has this little tag I did not create. This is by Kay and Company. Kay and Company puts out these great little tag packs. This is not the tag pack that this came out of, but you can see that it is a K and Company. I've got this for another project. But I just love these because they're they're already done for you and you can just go in and, and turn them into such quick little page accents. And so what I did here was just simply take my Tim Holtz ink and ink the edges, added a little piece of bling, and then I put a little ribbon here accent so it just turned out really cute. This one I was able to fit two little photos so it just oh it just turned out so cute. So anyway last but not least on the cover I added my genuine uh, beyond the page mini album stamp. I numbered them, dated them, signed them and of course um, signed it to the person that I was giving it to. And so now let me show you the paper pack it is by the linen, I'm sorry, it's by DCWV, and it is the Lace and Linen Stack, and I'll just kind of flip through it for you. So you can see, I don't have all the pages, but you can kind of see some of them. They're just so pretty, and this is just all that I have left. So, anyway, so that's it. Hope that you enjoyed looking through my little mini album. Remember, this is Lita from Lita Scrapbooking Life. When life gives you scraps, make something beautiful out of them. Bye-bye.